The season opener for the World Endurance Championship this year is called the Qatar 1812 Kilometer. But what exactly is this event? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some information about this event. And to be clear, this is not a race preview, just a quick introduction to this race. Not only will this event open the 2024 season, but it will also bring the country of Qatar to the scene of endurance racing. First off, let's get to the obvious question. Why is this event called the Qatar 1812 Kilometer? Well, this endurance race is scheduled to last roughly around the length of 1812 kilometers, but it's also an homage to Qatar National Day, when they unified their country in 1878. It's celebrated on December 18th, which is also the 12th month of the year. And now you get why 1812 is a significant number. The event will take place at the Lausale International Circuit, near the city of Lausale. The circuit was opened in September of 2004 and is FIA Grade 1. It currently has 16 turns that make up the 5.4 kilometers. That's 3.3 miles long. Recently, the circuit was updated. And if you're a motorsport fan, you probably already know about this track because Formula 1 has raced here twice. The Qatar Grand Prix was held in 2021 and in 2023. Alongside the Qatar 1812 kilometer, the WEC has also scheduled their prologue session here at the Losail International Circuit, which is scheduled to take place just a few days before the event itself. The prologue will effectively be test sessions for all the WEC entries before the season begins. An interesting fact to know is that the Qatar 1812 kilometer will actually be the second longest endurance race on the WEC calendar this year. This event is scheduled to last around 10 hours long. The only race that's longer than that is of course the 24 hours of Le Mans. But all the other events in the WEC this season will last either 8 hours or 6 hours, meaning that this event in Qatar will be the second longest race. Now something that's piqued my interest is the actual competition out on track. If we look at the track itself, the best place to make overtakes are going to be on that main pit straight and at turn 1, although there are other opportunities as well. Overtakes are definitely possible around the turn 4, turn 5 complex, and I expect a few dive bombs and good overtakes around the slowest part of the track, which is turn 10. Overall though, even though there's only one main straight, I expect the racing to be pretty good as we go across the 10 hour endurance race, although we won't know for certain until of course the event happens. But besides the on track racing and a new track to look forward to in the WEC, another important factor to remember is that this is the season opener, and so that means there are new cars out on track. The Qatar 1812 kilometer marks the debut for four new hypercars in the WEC. There's the BMW M Hybrid V8, the Alpine A424, the Lamborghini SC63, and the Sotto Fraschini Tipo 6 LMH Competizioni. All four cars will be making their debut at this event. Qatar also plays host to the debut for the all-new GT era of the WEC in the form of the all-new LMGT3 category. As I mentioned in my WEC season preview, and if you haven't watched that video by the way, I highly recommend it, all GT cars participating will be brand new to the WEC. The LMGT3 class is expected to show off some incredible racing as the category progresses, and that's all kicking off at the season opener here in Qatar. So that's a quick introduction to the 2024 Qatar 1812 kilometer. Are you excited for the season opener here at the Losail International Circuit? As always, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly suggest you do so, considering I make endurance racing content mainly on WEC and IMSA every single week. And if you want to see another video, check out the options on the screen. So for now, that's it from me. I'll see you all in the next video.